Number 16. Solve the following problem using analytical techniques. Suppose you walk 18 meters straight west and then 25 meters straight north. How far are you from your starting point and what is the compass direction of a line connecting your starting point to your final position? Okay, so the figure uh, 3.58 is represented on the side. So we're starting at the origin of our coordinate system and it says that we're going to walk 18 meters straight west. So that would be indicated by this vector right here. That would be the 18 meter um, west vector. So they, they noted here is A. I'm going to write A is equal to 18.0 meters. And then after you walk 18 meters west, now you're going to walk 25 meters north. So that would be the vector right here. <clears throat> Okay, so this vector now represents the vector of uh, north, and it they represent it as B here. So I'm just going to label that B as 25.0 meters. And they want to know how far you are from your starting point. So simply, they're really just asking in this problem, solve for the resultant vector. Now, if you draw the resultant between your start point and your end point, okay, you realize that when you create the shape here, Right, this shape creates a nice triangle. So the great thing about this triangle is that it is a right triangle. So we can use our uh, trigonometric functions here on the uh, right hand side. So now if I want to find my resultant vector r, right, we have to think about um, what formula can we use. Right, so you know two sides of the triangle. So how do you find the third? Simply Pythagorean's theorem. Okay, now there's a formula here on the right-hand side that is just a reworked Pythagorean's theorem. Okay, this uh, formula right here that I just uh, created an arrow for, uh, that represents the resultant vector. All right, so I'm actually just going to use that formula uh, for this problem. So the resultant vector will be equal to the square root of the sum of all of the x components squared plus the sum of all of the y components squared. So what are your x components in the problem? Well, the one we only have one x component and it's 18 meters. Now just be careful. I mean, in terms of the math here, it's not gonna, uh, you're not really gonna be able to mess it up because we're squaring it. But technically, the value in here should be negative 18.0 meters. Why? Because it's due west. You're on, you're in the, uh, you're on the negative x-axis, okay? So then plus the sum of all the y's, now the y component here of the vector was 25.0 meters, so we plug in 25.0, and we square that. And now we just do the calculation, all right? So uh, second square root of negative 18 squared plus 25 squared, that gives us about 30.8. So 30.8 meters. Okay, wonderful. So that's the magnitude. Now for the second part, uh, we have to figure out the compass direction. Now in our diagram, they want to find this angle, theta. And that angle is relative to the west axis here. Okay, so how do we find that theta value? Well, I have a formula over here on the right. It says that the tangent of my angle, of my resultant angle, should be equal to the absolute value of the sum of all the y's divided by the absolute value of the sum of all the x's. Okay, great. So tan theta of my resultant vector should be my y component, 25, over my sum of all the x's, which was just simply negative 18. Right, but we're going to take the uh, absolute value of them. So that should simply be um, <clears throat> this, uh, sorry, this will be now 25 over 18, because absolute value, we uh, get rid of the negative sign, right? So now this is going to be 25 over 18. So 1.39, so tan of theta is equal to 1.39, and simply do the inverse tangent now to solve. So hit second tan on your calculator, assuming you have a TI 83 or 84, 89, and then enter 1.39, and we get a value of about 24 point, uh, excuse me, 54.3 degrees. Now we just have to say, you know, from where, 54.3 degrees from where, so we would say, north of west, 
right? Because here's the west axis, and the resultant vector is north of that west axis. Okay, great. So that would be the full answer there. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.